Hello, I'm Tyler, and welcome to another episode of Ross Developer Notes. Today, I'm going to tell you about something I'm really excited about. It's a new way to do formatting, or new to us, and I'm applying it to all the MoveIt ecosystem of packages and all of our client projects. And I think it'd be really you'd find it you'll find it really useful on any project you work on. Um, it's a new way to run formatters and to test them. It's called pre-commit. And what's really cool about it is it's easy to run locally. It's much more than just cling format. And it's easy to test in CI. Like it's a really simple config to get it working in CI. And to show you about it, I am going to walk through applying it to a package that I haven't applied it to yet and make a PR out of it. We're gonna do random numbers. Um, it's one of the Ross planning packages that I haven't done yet. And I'm just gonna show you the config and move it to first. So this is all the stuff it does. Um, it checks that somebody's not adding large files in their, in their thing. It checks that there's uh, not case conflicts and merge conflicts and that sim links are good and that YAML syntax is correct and that they have good debug statements and that the end of the file has um, a new line, and that there's not mixed line endings, and that there's tra no trailing white space. And then, this is like a really easy way to add black. Before, I wanted to add black by writing in a ment, uh, lint black formatter, um, but I think that uh, the linters that belong in a ment lint are very different from what sort of, uh, it, it's different from a formatter. You want to apply a formatter over the whole repo and a mint lint works really well on per package and they're, they're good for other kinds of tests that output more detailed information. Formats basically pass fail and oftentimes it fixes stuff for you. And that's, that's what you want from a formatter. So black is one. And then here is the rule we have for claim format. We use claim format 10 in all of our repos. Um, so we'll walk you through using it. Uh, first, to learn to install it, I created a in the wiki for move it to. Um, I created this. I mostly created it so that I could comment it on people's PRs when they forgot to do it, and it would be like ready-made instructions for how do you install it locally. Um, it's something we should talk about. When you use it locally, there's sort of two ways to use it. Why it's called pre-commit is because it can install itself as a Git hook for when you commit and run automatically. And one thing that's really cool about that is because it's tying into Git really fast, it only runs the formatter over files that have changed. You're like, well, how do I format the whole repo this way? Well, the, you can run it manually with pre-commit run pack A, and that'll run it over everything. Um, and to install it in your local, um, the repo you're working on, you use pre-commit install, and then it installs itself as a Git hook. It's done per repo on your local file system. You can't install it um, like for your user account, which would have been really nice, but not one of the features. Um, and it's really nice. Uh, I have a little note down here about 1804. Using 1804 and using Python 2, you really shouldn't be. Python 2 is end of life. Come over to Python 3. Uh, that's all. Um, and then installing clean format 10. All right. Let's get to doing it on random numbers. So here's random numbers. Um, you'll see right now we have a Travis YAML. Uh, the other thing I'm doing is I'm migrating to GitHub Actions. I will eventually get this off of Travis. But for now, we're just going to do the pre-commit thing. So I'm going to copy that and then go over to my terminal. Uh, let's uh, get clone that um all right so we're here uh the first thing we need is that file so i'm just going to use the one that i'm using and move it to uh recommit uh, Uh, 
I think there's a check XML one that I want also, but I can deal with that later. Um, good enough. Uh, we just want to turn it on. So the first thing I'm going to do is just check to see, make sure it works. Uh, run a it's going to find some stuff that's failing uh there's something wrong with the yaml file that's not really a surprise um our clean format config for all of move it is the one we copy and pasted everywhere has the yaml errors in it and this has helped us find them and fix it um there's also an end of file thing and uh then clean format actually modified some stuff that's crazy anyway um so if we look at the git status, this is what we see. Um, so I need to edit this to fix this. Um, you will see that this line and this line are the same. You're not supposed to do that. Uh, that was an accident. Um, so I need to delete one of those. And then down here, um, this is JSON's index, uh, which YAML technically supports JSON, but it causes issues if you, yeah. So we want to use just actual J, actual YAML. Um, so then run it again. Um, they're all passing. All right, cool. Uh, so I want to add this as a GitHub action. So I'm going to go back to my browser. Um, I'll show you how to do that. So GitHub workflows we have this format date yaml um it's really simple just copy and paste it and it'll use the pre-commit thing so uh go raw copy it i'll go back to the terminal um All right, so that's going to add it. Um, all right, now we need to check out a branch to do our thing on. I'm going to uh, call this one add pre-commit. Um, now, here's a point we can talk about, and it's that when you do formatting changes and you want to submit them as a PR, it's often really helpful to have the config changes separate from the actual formatting changes. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna so get status. Uh, I'm gonna add um, the pre-commit YAML file, uh, the GitHub action, um, and only that. Uh, the other things are to make it pass, right? To fix the formatting. Um, so we can see there's, that's what I'm adding. Uh, commit uh, adding. Pre commit checks. Oh, one more thing. I want to add it to the README. Um, I want to add a badge to the README. So, um, this is the the build status from Travis. Uh, we don't care about that for now, but um, we want to add the format one. Um, so I'm gonna go back to my browser and I'm gonna find the one I put in move it to for this. Um, so I can copy it and edit it. Uh, read me. So it's right here, this thing. You look at the raw format one. Uh, there, back over here. All right, um, so Let's go back to random numbers. Uh, branch is master that I'm adding this to. So that's one branch. I imagine that's um and all right. So master is the branch. Uh, it's in Ross planning, but it's um both the badge and what the badge links to 
Head of both of them. There we go. All right. Get commit. We're going to call this uh, or pre commit x. Um, and what are, what do we have? Git add that git status git six there. All right. Now we're ready to submit ours. Um normally you, you push through a fork and maintainer so I can push to the actual repo. And the reason I'm doing this is there aren't any GitHub actions running yet on this repo. And until there is the only way to get them to start running is for it to be on a branch that's actually on the repo. So I'm going to push it to the actual repo and make it better from that. Um, so uh, we're going to push this. Oh, I get to show you one other cool tool. Uh, that's the, uh, the GitHub command line interface. So GitHub PR create. We're going to create a PR from this. Um, uh, call it that, uh, that, uh, that's the title and continue in the browser. So if I go over here, it'll do this, recommit text, uh, creating the PR here on the repo to get the, Um, now our request repeat. Uh, yeah, from Robert. Robert's been really helpful getting me getting these changes in. It was him who showed me this pre commit thing, he did it first on uh MTC, and I think it's awesome. It's yeah, it's great. Um, so here we check to see what we have. We have this pre commit checks, um, test and fix formatting errors. Um, this is all that's changing. We're adding this. That uh, the only like major formatting is and there's a bunch of spaces in front of the, the license and the namespace thing wasn't correct. This is because like you would have thought Clang format wasn't going to change anything. That was changed by Clang format and is because Clang format had errors in its config that it was somehow silently letting us get away with. Um, and then just more you know spaces where there shouldn't be. Okay, uh, so we create the pull request. And here is our new check. Format, format. Um, cute. Watch it run, and you'll see what it does. And then after this, I'm going to show you how you install it locally and then how it would run when you do a git commit. Uh, we'll do a reveal change locally um see what it does all right oh, so it's got to install the stuff uh it failed what did, what did, what did it fail for uh okay so there are errors all right now i get to show you <laughs> interactive rebase uh, let's go back and fix that. All right. So, and we'll just, anyway. So, uh, we're going to do a rebase interactive on master. Uh, we want to edit this one because it's actually in the files we care about. Um, and so I'm going to run pre commit run all. Um, it, it changed our, those, it, it also changed the others, but we're going to ignore those changes because the fixed formatting errors commit we have should already fix those. Um, so git add GitHub, uh, workflows, that uh, git add the commit. Um, okay. So. We're going to amend, go edit, 
and I'm going to change uh, commit message just to know what it means. Uh, rebase, can you? Uh, you missed, okay. Status, get that or drop those. Uh, get rebase, can you? All right, now we're at the head. Um, just to make sure everything's still kosher, uh, that okay everything's still passing there's no diff now we need to push uh uh it's a force push because we are uh we're gonna force a piece um force push because we're changing the history we're actually like writing over uh an omit that's gonna push uh Come back to the browser, and it's going to run again, and we'll see what it does. Oh, one cool feature, you can hit Shift F to go train. Log. Setting up its packages. So, all right, looks like looks like everything passed. You know, some of them are skipped. Talk about that. There's no Python files, so black isn't even running. Uh, there are no Python files. The debug statements is a Python check, and there are no sim links. But all these other checks passed. Uh, the total time was 36 seconds, runs really fast in CI, and it runs in parallel to all the other things. So you have to, have to get back out of full screen, uh, go back to conversation, get past. So you were waiting on Travis, which is huge. Um, it's even passing on the official Ross build farm before Travis is queuing. That's how bad Travis is. All right. Uh, let me show. So if I do pre-commit install, uh, all, it adds it to the git hooks to this um, local copy of the repo. So show you what that does. We're gonna create a test brand. That we'll add a change here. Uh, Add something to read me. This is a test. Get and get commit. All right, now it's going to run. It's a commit hook. It didn't find any errors, but if it had, it would stop the commit, and we could change those and try the commit again, um, which is great. It it really is. I'm going to go back to add pre commit. Get rid of that one. Test. All right. So that's the whole story. Pre-commit is awesome. Uh, it runs really fast in CI. It fixes a lot more than just clang format. It fixes your clang format config. When you have a broken clang format config, how embarrassing is that? Uh, it is really easy to use locally. You can, once you've installed it, and once it's up and working on your repo, then your developers just have to do pre-commit install, and then the checks automatically run that when they run a commit, so they won't be pushing, and they don't have to learn how to use all these different tools because they're all used for them. It's excellent. Uh, I hope this has raised your RAS IQ. Stop using a ment clean format and come use this. The rest of us, uh, Black, it, it'll be great. Um, have a great day.